Hello? This question giving you the fourth and the fifth term and the sixth term of a geometric sequence. Be careful, this is not the first term, you know, uh, but this is the fourth term, right? Uh, the fifth term and the sixth term. So, so the, 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 okay, they have to tell you that this is a geometric sequence, right? It's a geometric sequence. So, <coughs> find the possible value of y. <coughs> The possible value of y. So then you have to uh, remember the properties of a uh, uh, geometric sequence, right? Uh, if you have t1, t2, t3, t4, so on and so far. So you know that the t2, the t1, and t3 divided by t2, or t4 divided by t3, or t5 divided by t4, or t6 divided by t5, all will have a, all is a constant, right? Uh, this constant is named as the common ratio, right? The common ratio. So, very simple. I'm going to apply this knowledge to find the value of y here, right? So, I can say that t5 divided by t4. Right, it will be a constant, and this constant is the same as you take t6 divided by t5. Ah, this is actually a common ratio. So it means that y minus 1 divided by y plus 1 is the same as 2y minus 5 divided by y minus 1. Ah, this is the most important thing that you must figure out when you uh, have this type of question, all right? Uh, so let's look at how to solve this question. Uh, this question. So, <coughs> of course, this will be uh, not a problem because you just uh, algebra, right? you cross multiply. You have y minus 1 square equals to 2y minus 5 and y plus 1, right? Uh, so this one you have y power of 2 minus with 2y plus 1. And this will be 2y power of 2. 2y power of 2, 2y minus 5y, negative 3y, right? Uh, 2y minus 5y, negative 3y, so negative 5. So now you write, uh, of course, if you arrange, this will be a quadratic equation. 2y square minus y square, you have 2y to the power of 2, all right? Uh, sorry, you have y to the power of 2, right? You have uh, y to the power of 2, negative 3y plus 2y, you have post uh, negative y, right? You have negative y, sorry. So you have negative y. So then negative 5 and positive 1 become negative 6 equals to 0, right? So it's the same as equals to 0 on the right hand side. So factorize, then you will get a possible value of y. So y, y and y, 6, it will be 2 and 3, negative and positive. Negative 3 plus 2, you have negative 1, right? So you have two possible values of uh, y. y plus 2 equals 0 or y minus 3 equals to 0. Then you have y equals to negative 2, y equals to negative 2, and y equals to 3. Right, y to negative 2 and y equals to 3. So now you have these two values. So the question again asking you to find the uh, uh, write down the corresponding values of the first three term. So this is the first, uh, this is the fourth, fifth, and the sixth term, right? So the question requires you to write the uh, t1. They want t1, t2, and t3 uh, for each value of y. So how are I going to uh, do for this, right? So of course, I'm going to find the first term, right? So I, I, I can uh, divide. Okay, first I, I can find the common ratio. So when y equals to negative 2, when y equals to negative 2, so you have, uh, when y is negative 2, what is the common ratio, right? Your common ratio is the same as y minus 1 divided by y plus 1, right? y minus 1 divided by 
y plus 1, t5 over t4. So you can set y minus 1 divided by y plus 1, or you can write 2y minus 5 divided by y minus 1. So this is a common ratio. So I substitute 2 minus 1 divided by y plus 1. Means that, ne uh, sorry, negative 2, negative 2 minus 1, and negative 2 plus 1. So you have negative 3, right, divided by negative 1. So you have positive 3, right? Uh, so now uh, <coughs> you have r equals to 3 when y equals to negative 2, right? So I'm going to moving back, move backwards, right? So you have uh, y plus 1, right? y plus 1 for t4. Okay, now we talk about case for y equals to negative 2, right? So the t4 in this case will be uh, that one. The y plus 1 will be uh, negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 minus 1, 2, negative 2, minus 5. Uh, so you will get uh, negative 1, negative 3, this one you have negative 9, right? You have negative 9. So if you see that this is your t4, t5, and t6, right? So now you're going to reverse back to find the value of t1, t2, and t3. Very simple. You see here you multiply by 3, right? You multiply by 3. Yes or not? You multiply by 3 if you go forward, right? If you go forward, you multiply 3. But if you go backward, you have to divide by 3 because the common ratio is 3, right? So you divide by 3, you have negative 1 over 3. And you divide uh, because this one, if you multiply 3, you will have negative 1. So then here we have negative 1 over 9. Because when negative 1 over 9 multiply 3, you will have negative 1 over 3. And what number multiply 3 become negative 9? So you have to divide the negative 1 over 9. When you go backwards, you have to divide. So 1 over 27. So this is the first three term, right? Uh, first three term if y equals to negative 2, right? Uh, if y equals to negative 2. So, <coughs> alright. Okay, you can jot down this. So, how about if now y is uh, 3, right? Uh, what happens if y is 3, right? So, let's look how, alright. Okay, so if y is 3, let's say if y is 3, so your common ratio now will be different, right? Your common ratio now will be uh, y minus 1 over y plus 1, right? So you can write 3 minus 1 over 3 plus 1. Uh, this one is 3 minus 1, you have 2, you have 4, so you will get 1 over 2. Right, 1 over 2. So, means that, okay, now you write that. Uh, y plus 1, right? Uh, the fourth term, the fifth term, and the sixth term. So, this is a fourth term, fifth term, and sixth term. You have y is 3, right? So, you have 3 plus 1, you have 4, right? Uh, 3 minus 1, you have 2, right? Uh, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 5, you have 1. 4, 2, 1. Can you see the number getting smaller and smaller? Because why the common ratio is 1 over 2. You multiply 1 over 2 and you multiply by 1 over 2, right? So this is t4, t5, t6. So now I'm going to go backwards, right? Uh, to get the value of t1, t2, and t3. This one you go, you divide, right? Multiply 1 over 2 is like 4 divided by 2. Okay, so if you go backward, you will divide, you will multiply by 2. Okay, you will multiply by 2. So you will get 8, 16, 32. Right? Very logic, right? You see the common ratio is 1 over 2. So you multiply 1 over 2. The first term 
you have uh, divide by 2, you have 16. You divide by 2, you have 8, right? And you divide by 2 again, you have 4. Uh, so you will get the 4th, 5th and the 6th term. So this will be the first 3 term for the geometric sequence if the y is 3, right? So I hope you can understand the concept of uh, geometric sequence where the common ratio, right? They have a common ratio. So or I can say that uh, <coughs> the T5 divided by T4 is the same as T6 divided by T5. This is the properties, right? So, okay, that's all for this video.